If you're tired of shaving regularly and want an effective way to remove the unwanted hair growth on your face, a laser hair removal treatment might be an option for you. The laser beam will target your hair follicles and prevent hair growth. After several treatments, your hair growth can be stopped, but it depends on each person. The effects of laser hair removal depend on three things, which include hair thickness, the colour of the hair, and the colour of the skin. If you have thicker hair, you might need more treatments to reach the point where your hair growth stops. Aside from that, you need to be aware that laser hair removal works more effectively on people with darker hair colours and lighter skin tones. However, you can still get laser hair removal treatment if you have darker skin because some dermatological clinics have the devices with more advanced technology for those with darker skin. As a result, it's strongly advised that you conduct some research before undergoing treatment. Laser hair removal treatment can be done on various body parts, such as legs, armpits, bikini line or face. Usually, facial laser hair removal treatments will be done around the mouth, chin, cheeks, sideburns, eyebrows or beard area. Things you should prepare before treatment. Before you get the treatment, there are five important things that you need to do to have an effective result. A hormonal assessment. Your hormones have a significant impact on your treatment effectiveness. Imbalanced hormones can cause the effect to progress slowly. If the progress is slow, you will need lifelong maintenance that will cost more money and more time. Lastly, there is a chance that the treatment will have no effect if your hormones are imbalanced. Sun protection. Always use sunscreen to protect your skin from sun exposure. You're recommended to apply sunscreen regularly from two to four weeks prior to the treatment to prevent any risk of burn or pigmentation during or after the treatment. Avoid waxing or plucking. As laser hair removal treatment targets your hair follicle, you need to avoid waxing or plucking at all costs. Avoid using hair bleach. As with waxing and plucking, hair bleach might affect your hair follicle too, which will be the target of the treatment. So you need to avoid bleaching your hair before any treatment. Start using Eflornithine Cream. Eflornithine Cream is a product that you can use to slow down the growth of your hair. To avoid an allergic reaction, apply sufficient amounts of the cream to your skin and consult with a doctor first. The new laser hair removal treatment. You'll need a budget starting at $380 per treatment. Each session will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes and usually the result will be shown after four to six sessions. If you want a more affordable treatment, you might want to consider purchasing the at-home laser hair removal device. However, it is important to know that in some cases, such as treatment for those with darker skin, going to a dermatological clinic for the treatment might be the best option. If you go to a dermatological clinic to have the treatment, here are the steps to do the procedure. Number one, shaving. You need to shave before doing the treatment because longer hair will increase the risk of burns during the procedure. Number two, application of numbing cream. After that, you'll get numbing cream applied to prep your skin. Number three, wearing protective eyewear. When it's all set, you'll need to cover your eyes with a pair of protective eyewear. After that, the clinic will prepare the device and beam the laser onto your skin to start the treatment. Number four, use of an ice pack. As we all know, ice can help reduce redness and inflammation. The laser hair removal treatment might cause some stinging sensations or redness, so an ice pack application is needed to cool down the skin. Number five, application of anti-inflammatory cream. You'll get anti-inflammatory cream too to prevent further severe inflammation as a side effect of the treatment. Number six, sunscreen application. Applying sunscreen will be the last step of the procedure. The treatment will make your skin more sensitive, so you'll need to take extra precautions to protect your skin from the sun. Post-treatment. Because laser hair removal treatment can't give you an instant result, you'll need to visit the clinic within one month to have another session. Within the interval month, you'll need to take care of your skin too. Here are some things that you can expect from the treatment. Slight redness. At a normal rate, the redness will only last for one to two days. Dryness. Your skin will get dry too as one of the side effects. Be sure to keep your skin hydrated by drinking lots of water and applying enough moisturiser. Wear sunscreen. Sunscreen is a must. Don't skip wearing your sunscreen to get an effective result. Protect your skin and prevent further problems on your face. Avoid waxing, plucking or bleaching. Don't do anything that might affect the hair follicle, which is the target of the laser. There'll be some other side effects from the treatment too, such as a slight stinging or burning sensation, or maybe even slight redness. 
In some rare cases, skin blisters, pigmentation and scarring might happen too, but it's because the skin might be inherently allergic and very sensitive. Again, is it safe? Yes, laser hair removal treatment is a safe and non-invasive treatment. In fact, it's one of the most popular non-surgery beauty treatments. However, you need to make sure that you're getting the treatment done by the experts. If you're choosing an at-home hair removal treatment, read the instructions thoroughly and do enough research. Please like, comment and subscribe.